Hi, Alan here. This is a can continue on from the first um, create model video. My simulator decided it was just going to end the video. So here we are again. Um, what, I've, what I was doing there, I, I changed my cut fill top left and right to show my slope in the top right. Um, that was just in those settings, uh, height indicators. So I've went for uh, cross slope instead of bucket left height, bucket right height. And the benefit of that is when I'm when I'm tracking along and I'm bringing my, my slope up to where it needs to be, I'm also watching my slope as well. This is this 0 0.1 is always going to be green in here if it's within my tolerance, so it's quite a nice feature. Um, the other models I really haven't used much myself. Um, I know roughly what the road model is. The ro road model would be if you... Um, if you had a model that someone gave to you with a line on it, but maybe they just gave you a, a center line and you wanted to um, create your own channel lines, curb lines, you, you can go into center line here, or line, sorry, um, choose a, a file that, that somebody's given to you, um, pick a line from, from that, so the, the center line that you were thinking of, press continue, so say this is this is the center line that you've chosen of the, the data that someone's already given you. You can add lines to the side of it so we can see, okay, we, we know the road's four meters, so we'll add two meters, we'll add that to the left, and then we'll add that to the right. If you also knew the, the slope of it, you can add your slope in as well. If you're ever unsure, you can always use this question mark that I've mentioned before. So if you go question mark, click on anything that's blue and it tells you what it is you're working with um, that's obviously just the, the segment that was playing with there if I go next here then on my screen my model is then going to be based on any slope that I have on the road I'm also going to have the width of the road I'll, I'll create the channel as, as to say um, I can click on each one and delete and just work in the left or maybe in the right I need a, a different figure so I can change that to 2.2 .2 and add that to the right. And if we go back and choose from points this is what I would imagine would be more common. So log element is basically asking you to, to go and survey it with your, with your bucket. So if you knew where the client or engineer wanted to have the road, you, you would track there, put your bucket on the ground, on the channel or curb, whatever it may be you're working with, hit log. You would then you would then track somewhere else on, on site. Um, you would press log and continue. So you will see here that I've got my two points of my channel and it's telling me select the start point. So I'd say, okay, well, this is my start point. This is my end point for my road. Um, adjust the slope value or press a line. Well, the slope um, is reading something crazy in my simulator, but we'll, we'll put it to 0.1. So here, here's my, my section of my road and then a line. And I know before I even press the continue button the simulator is going to have a fit and stress out um, but it takes me back to this page we were just looking at with the, with the cross section that this is the start this is the line the um, my start line and then i've created this 4.4 meter wide road continue super zoomed out but i believe that's my road model press finish here we go so this is actually my road model in here, it's just a crazy scale with um, with my simulator. Let's see what happens if I do this. So that, that's my, my road model in there in the middle. Um, I hope somebody watching this somewhere can actually try that in the field. The best thing to do would be, right, okay, I want to create a three metre road. Go some go to the start of it with your bucket, hit hit log element, go to the right of it with your bucket, 
hit log element and just give it a shot and see how it looks on your screen. My um, my simulator just isn't going to play game at the moment, but I will work on it. Um, the other option, surface model, will be actually taking points that you've logged. So you know when you're in your survey screen and you have this um, log, as you go about the site and you survey, 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 you're maybe sub surveying points, um, maybe where you know you want to have a, a road or where you want to make a compound, you just you basically create a survey using this with your bucket, then go into create model, create a surface model. Yeah, that's what I thought, I was taking a chance there, but it says logged points. So there when you hit continue, it's going to ask what machine, so you, you just choose your own machine, hit continue. We don't need a point code, um, so we'll just tick the box. And then it's going to, um, oh, there it is, just, it's, it's naming a surface for you. When you hit continue, it's asking you what the date is, okay, it's fair enough, what the date is of your model. Um, But now, log points, I would just click all, and all your surveyed points will come into play. Um, let me just see, I'm going to move my bucket a little bit on my simulator, see if I can, yeah, it's not, not going to work because I don't have the log points. Um, yeah, okay, I would imagine if I had more points, it would create this sort of DTM, digital terrain model between them. I would then hit continue and then it will ask me if I want to bring that surface down to a, a formation, down to a level. Um, so it's something to explore. Hopefully someone can try it out. I'll certainly try it out in the field and see if I can make a recording of it. It's a little bit more complicated, but you're basically using your machine as a survey tool to create the surface similar to what the office is sending you, and then drop it, you know, cut it. Um, new points would be probably more of what my simulator is going to enjoy, so I would put my bucket on the ground, hit log point, I would then move my bucket somewhere else, hit log point, um, I could then drive somewhere else on site, if it would let me hit log point, but you'll see now that I've got more points, I have this continue. Um, give your model a name, and hit finish. <laughs> it's a terrible example. I'm just going to be kid, kid on, I've, I've not actually tried to do that. Still showing our terribly scaled road model. Um, if anything, if, if someone just takes some bravery away, bravery away from this video, to go and explore these create model options. The the main the main one being the flat model, it's it's really nice. If you just remember, put your bucket on a benchmark, hit equals and continue, or hit equals and then choose your plus or minus offset from what you want from that that um, benchmark. And the slope model, just as long as you've got a start point and remembering your grade, make sure you someone will be able to provide you with the grade. If you don't know what it is, that will then get you working. But um, I'm going to leave this video here before the simulator um, fails me anymore. Cheers.